as crazy as it is. And so I went and I planted a garden. Um, and having planted a garden, and now having this thing nagging me in the back of my mind of of this you know new Christian reading the book of Romans, thinking he knows more than I do, thinking that he can read the book of Romans and understand it better than me, who had been a Christian at that time for, oh, you know, well, I was in my early 30s, so I'd always been in church, and I became a Christian at the age of eight. So I had this going on in the back of my mind. I plant this garden. Not really sure why I have this drive to. I go out and I buy all, I buy all these tools for gardening and till up the ground. Uh, at my parents' place, they have a place where they were they would normally plant a garden, and uh, and that summer they were going away. So uh, I kind of had the I kind of had their place to myself, and I went out and I, you know, tilled the garden and started planting some seeds. And of course, thinking to myself, you know, my mother's got the green thumb. When I was a little kid, maybe I planted some of the garden once or twice. I remember weeding it a lot. But uh, this time planted the seeds and remember thinking to myself, you know, <laughs> they're either going to be in too deep or too shallow. It's not going to, you know, these things aren't going to grow for me. And uh, I don't know, it was almost a week later. And when I went up to see how things were going, as I would do every couple of days, uh, go up and tug on a few weeds and see what was going on. And sure enough, um, uh, here was this carrot top, this little green leaf poking its way through the dirt. And I got so excited. I was like, ah! <laughs> and, and as I'm standing there all proud as a peacock because of this you know, I grew a carrot. <laughs> um, this uh, voice spoke to me as clearly as in my mind. As I'm uh, as I'm standing there, this voice says to me, "If this carrot can obey my law, why can't you?" And I'm thinking to myself, uh, okay, this came right out of left field. It's one thing when you're talking to yourself and you're thinking things that are congruent with your thought process. It's another when your thought process goes completely against where your headspace is at. And this was against where my headspace was at. And I was thinking to myself, this carrot can be. I don't get it. But by that time, I had learned to trust the 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 counterintuitive message. And I went to the book of Genesis and I began reading in Genesis one one about how. God created the heaven and the earth, and in the course of doing so, he uh, spoke, and everything that he spoke got made. The words came out, and he created everything. And to go down through, you know, day one, day two, day three, and on and on, over and over, God speaks and it comes into being and when he got to creating the plants and stuff like that he says to them you know it's like basically he blesses them and tells them to you know to basically bear fruit after their own kind or something like that i think is how it goes actually no i'm incorrect in this statement uh, the blessing was given to the creatures after this that being said if i had simply quoted the text it would have served my point much better and so as I'm reading this, I'm realizing that this carrot in my garden was not growing because I put it in the ground. It grew because 
that was its very nature. That's how it was created. That's how God formed it. God spoke, and the carrot, when it is in a place and a position to obey the command, it does. Now think think of it like this. Um, as long as that seed does not go into the ground, it's not under obligation to grow. It'll sit there and it'll wait until it's put into the ground, and then, provided that it's a good seed, it grows. All of this is a consequence of God commanding it to do so. And all of creation is simply responding to the divine command that was given back in the very beginning. Now, I'm not going to try and convince anyone of this, because I don't know... I mean, this here is just kind of where my headspace was at as I was looking at this. And, and, and then it came to this rather perplexing conundrum that was created by this statement, which was, okay, if the carrot gets it and can do it, why can't I? If God created the carrot and commanded it to behave in a certain fashion, it doesn't. But for some reason, I wasn't. In fact, my whole theology was that I could not obey the commandment. That God actually gave commandments that could not be obeyed. And one of the realizations in this moment, or at least one of the things that began to break away in my in my little uh, fragile theological foundation, um, was this concept of of God being a bit of a sadistic God. No, is that the right word? Yeah, yeah, that God basically was would take and give us a commandment and then turn around and uh, knowing full well that we, we no, that God would give us a commandment knowing full well we couldn't keep it well if the carrot could well then so could I perhaps that sounds a bit harsh so let me clarify I don't believe God is a sadist but if you believe that God gave commandments with the foreknowledge that we not only wouldn't obey them, which is one matter, but that we couldn't obey them, the view of many Christians, then he would be a sadist. Since God is not a sadist, it means that the very giving of the command not only indicates that we can and should do it, but like the carrot, it is our very purpose to do it. That is why we were created. And if that is our purpose, he created us with the capability to do what he commanded us. And this kind of interrupted my comfortable place, my, my way of thinking about commandments and about the law and how even today carrots are still growing Seeds, you put them in the ground, they still come up as a consequence of Genesis 1-1. So where does this put us when we start making assertions that the law that God gave to the people of Israel has come to an end? Is there any real basis for that belief? And the answer to that, when you actually begin investigating, is... No. No, there is no evidence to that. 